Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to day five. We're all the way back to a whole new cycle. So we're going back to a lower body focus day. On the first day, we focused on our glutes and our hamstrings. And for this leg day, we're gonna do a little more focus on our quads, our hip flexors, and an awesome part about it, we're gonna do it all without any jumping. It's gonna be pretty low impact. We're gonna get a nice stretch in our hip flexors and our quads and just crush and squeeze those areas as hard as we can with every movement that we do. It's gonna be super fun. I love working on this part of my body, as you can probably tell. Super passionate about my quads. All right, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Let's end the year on a high note. Let's have fun creating those awesome habits, working through these 12 days and beyond. And without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna do a bit more of a warm-up than usual because of working on our quads. But we're gonna start on our backs. We're gonna work with a little bit of a bridge, stretching out and squeezing our hamstrings to start, and then giving our knees a little bit of a warm-up too. So we're gonna start down flat. We're gonna do three reps of this one, and then we'll flip over into a table. We'll do this one twice. Let me start my trusty timer here. All right, starting in a bridge. So we're gonna lift our hips up and feel that squeeze, that tender, tender squeeze all through the back of our body. Now we're gonna lift our heels up. Maybe keep them up if you wanna try or bring them back down. We're gonna take little steps out, little bitty steps as far as we can without letting the hips drop, 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 and then step back, 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 back at the top. That's one, lift the heels. Drop the heels, step, 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 step it out and back, 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 back it up. One more time, ready, lift the heels, drop the heels, little steps out as far as we can. I absolutely love this exercise, oh, so much fun to do. And lift the heels again and down. Very nice. All right, onto our hands and knees to warm up the quads a little bit more. We're gonna work from a table, and the more weight you send into the lower part of your body, just the harder it's gonna be. Doesn't need to be hard, we're just warming up the knees a little bit here. So, starting from here, I'm gonna breathe in, maybe bring my hips back a little bit more. When I breathe out, I'm gonna push into my feet, squeeze my quads, and come right back up to the top. Breathe in, we're gonna do five of these. Nice bend, and breathe out. You can even try to use your arms, breathe in, to keep pushing back, add a little bit more resistance. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And relax. Very nice. All right, we're gonna do one more set of that. And then we're gonna start working on those juicy, juicy quads and hip flexors, and a little bit of abs to finish up today too. It should be nice and tender after core day yesterday, hips and core. Uh, so let's do a teeny weeny little bit to get them heated up again. All right, ready, and up with the hips. Let's do it. Up with the heels, down with the heels, little steps, baby steps, not too big, as far as we can, and then back, 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 nice. Up with the heels, down with the heels, little steps. And back, steps. One more time. Up with the heels, down with the heels, little steps. Out, out, out. and back. And uh, relax, beautiful. All right, onto our hands and knees, five more of these. And then we're gonna stand up and start that nitty gritty first big set. All right, and breathe in, little bend or more bend if it feels good, as much bend as possible. Breathe out, push back to the top. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Keep that ass right to your heels and breathe out. Breathe in. And out, make sure we keep that core tight. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out, and relax. Beautiful. All right, standing up. So we're gonna go one side at a time for the next sequence here. The first one we do uh, is one of my favorite ones to work on my ankle, my quad, and my hip flexors, so mobility, and adding a bit of strength and range of movement there. And then we're gonna work into a little modified step up squat that's gonna help us focus on our hip flexors and our quads when we do it sometimes. It's a lot of glute when we work that one-legged squat. We're keeping our back really straight, hips back. So we're gonna try to put some focus into our quads 
and it's gonna feel real good. All right, so I'm gonna start in a little lunge position. You guys can find your range here, or however you wanna do it. Come right down, find your lunge, but I want you to try to focus keeping your foot flat, but letting your knee bend forwards as much as we can. I'm gonna do this with my back heel, uh, back knee lifted, but feel free to keep it on the ground if we're having a hard time, if it's a new thing for us. So from here, feeling that stretch. Once we feel the most stretch, we wanna stop, maybe a little bit before if you haven't done this before too. We're gonna go heel up and down. Maybe bend more into it and then push back, straight leg and then down. Make sure we're keeping the back leg engaged, that quad and hip flexor, don't let it be loose. That's why I like to keep the knee up and heel up and down, push back and back. We're gonna do three more, heel up and down and push back and back. Two more, heel up and down, and back, and down. If you guys have a chair handy too, it'll help them balance. Heel up, and down, and push back. And quick little stretch, and standing up on that leg. Nice, all right, so with our modified stepping down, we're gonna add a little step into it. It's gonna help us stretch out and squeeze our quad a bit more. So you can think of it like a little duck walk if we can have the control when we're at the bottom, or just take a little step with your knee all the way down on the floor, so you're taking the weight off of the quad too. All right, five of these, down slow. Touch when you need to, and I try to keep that tension on this leg. Little step forwards, knee to the floor, stretch. Keep it nice and tight here on the ball of the foot, because you're gonna use that foot to pull yourself back, and then stand up, kind of like a one-timer in hockey. And then down. Little step forward, knee down, stretch the hip flexor and the quad. Pull it back and up, that's two. Down, little step, push the hips, and pull it back. Standing up, that's three, that quad is burning. Down, step forward, pull the hips, push the hips, sorry, and pull it back, and up, that pullback is deadly, down. Step, reach the hips and pull it back, standing up, and relax. Oof. What a first set. All right, let's give it a couple seconds. Start side number two. All right, so finding our lunge position, a little shorter than usual, I would say, to get that knee coming forwards, just over the toes here. We wanna put as much as we can in the quad, and we're gonna strengthen the knee as we do it too. So find your spot. Lift the back heel if we can, and let's do it. Lift the heel, drop the heel, bend more into it, and then squeeze back and down. Make sure we keep that back leg tight. Lift, down, back, down, lift, down, back, down, lift, down, back. Two more times. Onto the step down and up. All right, let's do it. Plant that foot and coming down nice and slow to the floor. Touch when you need. Little step forwards, hips forwards, and pull it back, standing up. Down. Step, hips, and pull up. Next. Three, two more times. Down, step, reach, and pull. Four, one more time. Down, step, hips, and pull. Standing up, oof, and shake it out. Very nice. One more set each side. And we're gonna finish with those intervals. Got a nice full burn. those juices are flowing. <sighs> All right, maybe in about 10 more seconds, I'll start back on the first leg again. All right, let's find our lunge. 
Let that knee bend forwards. Try not to let the heel lift for this too. So we keep that foot flat, work that ankle at the same time. All right, lifting the back knee if we got it. Squeeze the back quad, heel up and down. Hips back and down. Heel up, down. Hips back and down. Heel up and down. Hips back and down. Heel up. Two more times. Down. Hips back. Keep that back glute tight. Heel, down, hips, and relax, nice. All right, a little toe prints on the mat. Okay, standing up on that leg, five big ones here, down, slow, touch, control, little step forwards, reach those hips. So let's see if you can lift that knee a little bit too. This one's gonna make it harder on your quad as you pull yourself back, standing up, down. Step, hips forwards. Now when you're ready for this, try to lift the knee, pull it back, and up. Down, little step, hips, lift, pull it back, standing up, and down. Little step, hips, lift, pull it back, and up one more time, down, step, Push the hips, pull it back, standing up, and relax. Oh. Huh. Packing a punch with that first set. Huh. All right, let's finish it up, set two, and then we're gonna move on from this. It feels good, go ahead and do some more. Huh. Can never get enough of these some days. All right, in the lunge. Let's stay sideways. All right, find our spot. Knee down to start. Hips forwards, just until that heel wants to lift. Try to lift the back knee. Keep the glute tight, the quad tight. Lift the heel. Drop the heel, push the hips. Hips back, lift the heel. Drop the heel, push the hips. And back, lift the heel. Drop the heel, push the hips. And back, two more. Standing up on that squatting leg. And let's back up a little bit for this. All right, let's do it. Come down slow. Little step. Push the hips forwards. Try to lift that knee. Pull it back. Standing up. And down. Step. Hips. Three, two more times. Down, step, push, and pull, lift. One more time. Down, push. And relax, very nice. All right, let's take a couple seconds here. We're gonna start down on the ground for the first one. I'm trying to work into our quads a little bit more. We're gonna stuff all that up, a little bit of a burn from a sumo squat to a side step, trying to work the outside of our quads a little bit more up into our hip. And I'll work a couple movements from the floor, working our abs a little bit, trying to stretch up some of those areas too. And then we'll do it all again. So, starting from my knees. Down flat here. So I'm gonna pulse my hips up twice. Step up to a squat, stay low, and then I'm gonna rise all the way up, lift the heels at the top, squeeze the glutes as tight as I can. Starting in five, four, three, and remember the four more, five, more back, the shoulder down, the harder this one gets. Up, down, up, down, step, step, lift, lift the heels, squeeze the glutes, and down, and again. Lift the heels 
and down, nice. Time here, ready, hips, down, hips, down, step up, lift, and relax, nice, all right, let's give it a good 20 seconds here, we're going to go from a sumo, this one we'll do three times per side, so it might go a little bit longer, you can take us maybe about a minute, we're going to hold for about five seconds with the sumo, shift our weight over, just as low as you can go here, we're going to do three side step squats, Back to the middle and hold. Three times per side. <sighs> Doesn't need to be super low. As you shift the weight over, you're gonna be pushing with the outside of your leg too. The lower you go, obviously, it's gonna make it more and more effective. But wanna keep our heel planted for this one. All right, starting right now, starting with the hold. And shift over. One, two, three, back to the hold. And other side. One, two, three, back to the hold. That's one. Push those knees open. And again. One, two, three, back to the hold. And again. One, two, three, back to the hold. One more time per side. The glutes. And go. One, two, three. Back in. One more coming up. And three, two, one. Shift it over. One, two, three. And relax. Nice. All right. On our back for the next two. Both of them are going to start with our knees up at 90. For the first one, we're just going to work on splitting those legs, squeezing the quads, keeping them really tight, but engaging our abs too. So every time we breathe out, we're going to extend one, extend the other, split the legs, squeeze the quads, and we're going to come back into the middle every time for a second and hold. Try to keep the shoulders up a little bit. I like to keep my hands on the ground so I can push through my abs a little bit harder that way too, keeping my core as tight as possible. Starting in three, two, and go. Breathe out, extend, split. And back. And other side. Back. Out. Back. Out. Back. Out. Back. And out. Back. One more per side. Feel those abs. Back. And out. Back. And relax. Huh. Alright, one more from our back here. And we're gonna do the set. The whole set again. And then we're all done. So get the knees at 90. We're gonna bring our elbows to our knees. One, two, three, arms up. We're gonna go side and then side. We want to focus on that top leg here. That's the one that's going to give us that squeeze on the way back up and that stretch on the way down. So keep the knees kind of close together as much as we can, but really focus on not letting the top one drop down. All right, crunch it up. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Arms up. Slide. And back. One, two, three. and relax. Very nice. All right, let's give it 30 seconds from here. We'll do one more set starting from our knees. 
working all the way through. Starting about 10 seconds, down to the knees. Thrust those hips up twice. Keep the core as tight as we can here. No looseness, especially in the glutes. We want it to support our whole body here. Starting right now, hips up. Press, lift the heels, squeeze the glutes, and coming down. more times. Press, lift those heels and back down one more time. Drop the heels and lift those heels up, squeeze the glutes and relax. Nice. All right, into the sumos. Let's give it 20 seconds here. Holding in the middle, pushing the knees out, nice straight back, shifting over to the side for three reps, getting as low as we can. All right, getting to that time and starting in two, one, hold that sumo. That's it, nice straight back, three, two, one, shoulder one, two, three, back to the middle. And other side. One, two, three. Back to the middle. And again, first side. One, two, three. Back to the middle. And side number two. One, two, three. Back to the middle. One more time each side. And Go. Two, three, back to the middle. Last one, starting in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, and down on our backs. All right, so split those legs, <sighs> squeezing up that quad and abs, starting with the knees at 90. All right, set up those knees, breathe in, and breathe out, split. Middle, and other side. more times. Two sides. Last one. Let's crush it. Legs feel nice and loosened up, so if you guys enjoyed that, and as always, feel free to add another set, add some extra reps if you want to get through some more. You never know how you're going to be feeling that day until you start sometimes. 
So take advantage if it feels super awesome. We're gonna do a little bit more. No problem at all, just like we wanna cut something out. Take it out, the goal here is to move just a little bit every single day all the way up to Christmas to keep those awesome habits flowing, keep our body feeling fresh, invigorated, and help us our mental health too, because it always helps me feel a little better. When I've been working out and moving a little bit, I just feel fresher, a little happier, I can really enjoy the holidays a little bit more. So I hope you guys had fun with that. Let's keep working hard. I will see you guys tomorrow for another total body, get ready to sweat. Gonna be a little bit more intensity. We're gonna do a whole hit uh, session tomorrow. So lots of intervals and moving as much as we can. So I'll see you guys later. Keep up the good work and 